Hey, I'm Erin coming at you from Lifetime. Today I have with me Rachel and Alan who will be working out with us. We're gonna do an insanity workout today. We have some high impact, low impact options. We have three blocks, three rounds each. You get a little rest in between, but either way we're gonna have a great time. We'll show you some different ways to do this. <clears throat> so just start dogging it out. All right, we're starting with some jacks. So options here, you can stay low, especially in this first round. We're gonna go through our warm up twice. So stay low, bring it up. Just start really reaching, warming that body up, getting that blood flowing. It looks good. Next up, we have some butt kickers. So bringing that foot all the way to the booty, letting those quads start to warm up. Keep that chest nice and high, that good posture. Good, keep it up. Getting those legs warm. Next up. Let's work on those hamstrings. We have an alternating kick reach. So nice, slow, and controlled. Reaching for that toe. Feeling those hamstrings stretch out. Good. As you're going through this warm up, think about keeping your abs and your core nice and tight. They'll support you through this whole workout. Next up, we have an alternating tap back. So get low in a squat. You're gonna tap back and touch the floor. Good. So nice and low, letting that body warm up. Stay in low in that squat as you tap back. Look good. Nice, now we're just coming to the floor. We have a downward dog into a spider lunge. So as you sit in the spider lunge, thinking about stacking that knee over the ankle. Kick back into that downward dog. And then alternate those legs. Stacking knee over ankle. Open it up through those hip flexors. Good, last one coming up to standing. This is our mummy kick. So kicking those feet out. Option here is just to kick those feet out without the jump. But we're keeping those arms up at 90, stretching those shoulders out. Looks good. Nice. All right, we're ready for round two of our warm up. So remember, option one here, you can keep it nice and low, or bring it up for that full jack. Think about touching those hands at the top. Getting those shoulders to warm up. Looking good, ladies. Next up, back to our butt kickers. So really think about heel to the booty. Get those quads stretched out. Keeping that chest nice and high. Tucking the core in. Good work. Yeah. Next up, here's our alternating kick reach. Slow and controlled. Letting yourself breathe for just a sec. Reaching nice and tall, getting those hamstrings warmed up. Good. Taking a little breather here. Woo. Core is tight. Looks good, all right, we're down in that nice low squat. Tapping back, alternating hands. Stay low in the squat. Feel that nice stretch. Look 
looking good. All right, coming to the floor. Here's our downward dog. Really push those heels down to the floor and then pull into our spider lunge. Stacking that knee over the ankle, big stretch. Kick back to the downward dog, drop those heels. Take this at your own pace. However long you need to hold in this stretch. Coming up, here's our last moves, our mummy kicks. So remembering option one here, either option you take, Keep those arms up to 90. Stretch through those shoulders. Yeah, you got it. Good work, good work. Yeah. So you get one minute to stretch. Catch your breath, grab some water. As we're coming into the rest of our workout, so we're going to be doing three working blocks. The first block is our plyometric focus. So think about stretching through those quads. Get a little extra stretch today, whatever's needing it. Our second block is our power block. So open up, we're going to be doing some push-ups. Let's get a nice stretch. We have some triceps we're going to be working through. So get those triceps stretched. And then our last block is our agility focus. So I'm gonna work on my hamstrings. But whatever needs stretch for you this morning, go ahead and get that done. And then we're gonna get started in our first working block. All right, we made it. So like I said, block one is designed as our plyometric get focus. In it. So we're starting with a burpee switch kick. Alan is gonna be our high impact person, Rachel's going to be our low impact person. You can alternate between both. I'll show you both. So first one is a burpee switch kick. Coming down to the floor, four switch kicks. Burpee, four, three, two, one. Or you're stepping back and kicking. Good. So our first round, we learn the move. Our second round, we take it up a notch. Yeah, yeah. Next up, pretty easy, straight arm jack. Option one here. Option two. Straight up in the air, open through those shoulders. Or a little bit of both. Nice work. Woo, getting that blood flowing. Looks good. Next up, here's our plyometric. We got a squat into a power jump or squat to two knees. So your option here, you can squat into that power jump or squat to the knees. Yeah, yeah. Heart rate's coming up. You gotta keep it up. Next up is a sprint tire run. So imagining we're coming in and out of a tire. So bring it up with those knees. Or Rachel will show you how to keep it lower. Yeah. You got it. Go, go, go. We get a break after this. 30 seconds, so keep it up. You got this. Yeah. Woo, 30 second break. So grab a drink. Shout okay, we overkill. Name home, we like Oprah Hills. Hit your face like Holyfield. So we have that. 
group of movements two more times. Let yourself catch your breath. And then we're coming back into that burpee switch kick. Now you know the movement. So pick where you want to be and let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You got it. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Mess around with both if you want to. High and low impact. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Next up, the straight arm jack. Option one, option two. You pick. Just keep moving. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Find your breath. Looking so good. Nice work. Here's our plyo squat power jump. Or squat two knees. Your option. Yeah, power from the floor. What you got? Woo! Can you push it? You know you got a break coming up. Let's go, let's go. Sprint higher run. Big knees. Go, go, go. Can you get those knees up? Come on. Yeah. Nice work. Go, go, go. Looking good, keep it up. Woo! 30 second break. We need it. How we doing, ladies? Yeah, we got that one more time. Woo! One more time. At the end of this one, though, we have a little surprise. It's a one minute power move. I'll tell you about it as it comes up. Woo! Last round, what you got? Burpee switch kicks. Woo! Take your option. Round three is your best round. Whatever your option is. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Straight arm jack. You can use this as a little breather. Your option. Woo! Nice work. You got this. Woo! Nice work. Next up, squat power jump. So, think about your option. Keeping that good form. Whichever option you pick, you're keeping it strong. Woo! Yeah! What's up, come on. Push it, push it. Show me what you got. Next up, sprint. You got it. We're almost there. Woo! Find your breath and let's go. Yeah, yeah. Nice work, come on. All right, we have one minute power move. This is four jump rope, four Heisman. So, four jump rope, I'm holding this guy. Four Heisman, four times. Take it at your level. If you wanna take those Heisman up, get a little hop in between. Woo! Go, 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 you got this. We're halfway, that's 30 seconds. Woo! 
Yeah. Nice work. Come on. Go, go, go. 15 seconds. Can you do this? I know you can. Yeah. Woo. One more, one more. Woo. You did it. Grab a drink. Great job on that first block. We're coming into our power block now. So a little less cardio, a little more strength. Keep watching. This time you're gonna watch Alan for low impact, Rachel for high impact. So first one, we're starting out on the floor. This is a high-low plank jack. Lots of options here. Option one, high plank jack, low plank jack. And then you're walking up and walking down. Option to modify if you want to, tap out on that first level, just in that tap. Otherwise, plank jack, walking up, walking back. Yeah, yeah. Good work, find what works for you here. All right, we're popping it up. Let's give those arms a little break. This is what we did in our warm up. So really focusing on taking that low squat. If you want to modify this, just hold in that squat position. Nice job. Yeah, yeah. Staying low, working out that booty. You got it. Woo. Next up, coming to the floor. We have a regular push-up. Lots of options here. Option one, on your knees, down and up. Option two on your toes. Option three, pop that leg up, little single leg. So take your option, one, two, or three. With push-ups, I see a lot of issues sometimes with people dropping their head first. So keep it nice and straight. Last up here, we got a tricep dip. Get those triceps ready, kick those hips up. Down and up. If you want to make this a little crazier, pop that foot in the air. Or just keep it nice and low. See if you can go this whole time. It's okay if it burns a little bit. Woo! All right, 30 second break. So there's our block two. <clears throat> a little different than block one. Less cardio, but a lot more strength. So keeping that good form all the way through. Starting with those high-low plank jacks. This is always about quality versus quantity. So keeping your eyes, if you have a mirror close, making sure that plank is staying nice and straight. Option one, tap. Option two, high-low. So if your back starts to round, make sure you're straightening it out. As we get tired, it's easy for our form to break. So keep it strong. Yeah, yeah. Let's work that booty. Stay nice and low. Tap it back. Good work. Woo, feeling that booty work. Yeah. What's up, come on. Giving those arms a little break, letting them shake out. Let's get them some work. Regular push up, remembering option one, knees. Option two, toes. Option three, kick it up. But keeping that chest and that chin nice and straight. Don't let that forehead drop. Look right ahead. Keep that form beautiful. 
Kick it up. Here we got some tricep dips. Get set up. Pop that booty up. Dip. Rachel showing you high impact. Woo, girl. Yeah. It's okay if that burn starts. Just breathe. You got this. Come on. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple more. Oh. Ooh. All right, we're two down. <clears throat> we got one more to go. So your last round on the power round, quality over quantity. Starting with that high-low plank jack. Take your option, break when you need to. Woo! Are we ready? Yeah! Let's go, high-low plank jack. Get it. Yes. You got this. You can switch in and out of those modifications if you want to. Your option. Woo! Yeah. How's that plank looking? Keep it strong. Yeah, let's give those arms a break. Booty. Tap it back. Keeping that back nice and flat. Yes. Doing so good. Keep breathing. You got this. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Here's those push ups. Let me see you get deep in these push ups. Can you get that nose to the floor? All the way down. Keeping that spine in alignment. Woo! What you got? Look at Rachel's high impact, done. Get it, girl. Yes, looking so good. Yeah, flip it over, triceps. Woo! You got this. Can you keep going? I think you can. Woo! Yes, keep it up. We're almost there. Woo! Oh, power move. Shake it out for just a minute. Our power move. We have one regular push up into an X. So if you're on your toes, push up, flip over to X. If you're on your knees, stay in that push up, pop to your toes for that X. Yeah, knees, or drop one knee down for that X. Yes, you got this. Find the level that works for you. Yeah, knees, drop to the knees for that X. Stack, yes, stack those hips, stack those arms. You got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, hit that child's pose. Good work. All right, we're two blocks down. How are we feeling? Yeah. All right. So we have one working block left. So I'm gonna grab a little water. This next round is our agility round. So cranking that cardio back up, working on the agility this time. So, first move, we have a crisscross into a rotational jump. Get in it. So, Rachel's gonna be doing modifications, Alan's gonna be doing high impact. Crisscross, jump, pivot, or crisscross, pivot, back and forth. There we go, pick your option. Yes. Switch directions that you're turning Keep your brain on point. Yeah. Good work. Yes. Good, tighten that core. It'll help you rotate. 
Next up, we have our reaction football drill. So, four counts, two, one, drop in low. Four, quick feet, go girls. Drop low, quick feet. And then we drop low, drop it. Quick feet, drop low. Yes, quick feet, drop low. Woo, quick feet, go. Drop low. Yeah, keep it up. All right, next up, scissor jab. Option one, step. Yeah. Option two, jump in that scissor. Yes, nice work. You got this. Woo -wee. Yeah. Finding the move that works for you. Good work. Next up, little agility here. So we're going zig, zag, wide legs, drop center. Back in, side, side, drop, center. At your own pace. Modification, step it, drop low. Yeah. Side, side, drop, center, reset. Getting that power back in force, you got this. All right, so there's our block three. Looking really good. Little different, grab a drink. And then we got that two more times. Woo! All right, coming back, catching your breath. I gotta catch my breath. We're working, we're here with you. Here we go, crisscross rotational, crisscross. Pivot or jump. Back and forth. Yeah. You got this. Nice work. Remember to switch that direction that you're pivoting. Woo! Doing so good. Yes. Woo! Football reaction drill. Listen for me to say drop. Move those feet, move those feet. Drop low. Go, 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 go. Drop it. Woo! Yeah, drop. Nice, look at those reactions. Go, drop it. Woo! You got this, drop it low. Yes, nice work, drop low. Woo! Scissor jab. Option one here. Option two, looking so good. Take your modification, whatever you need here. You gotta feel for the rest of the block. So get what you need, but push. Whoo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last up, zigzag drop, or step, step, drop. Your option. Work on that agility. What you got? Woo! Yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Looking so good. On the way. Woo! All right, this is it. We made it, we got one round left. So, what are you telling yourself? You tell yourself you got this. We got one round, that ain't nothing, let's go. Crisscross rotational jump, catch your breath. Last working round, come on. There it is, crisscross. Yeah, crisscross pivot. Woo! Whatever you're doing, doing it with all you got. Yeah. Yes, you got this. Woo! Yeah. Looking so good. What are you telling yourself? You ain't tired. Let's go. What do we got next? Reaction. Quick, 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 quick. And let's drop. Oh. Can I hear you hit the floor, ladies? Go. Yeah, 
yeah, quick, 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 quick. Drop it. Woo! Let me hear you get low. Drop. Yes. Nice job. Drop it. Woo! You got this. Drop. Nice work. Drop low. Scissors. What you got? You got two moves left and a power move. I know you got this. Yeah. Woo. Take it to your level. But push it. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Zigzag drop. You got this. Finish strong. Wherever you're at. Push it. Woo! You got this. Yes, taking it at your own pace. Come on, come on. All right, we're working that booty. Our power move. Drop into the floor, up into a scissor, or drop in low, jack. Low, jack or low, power into a scissor. Or a little bit of both. This is all you got left. Show me what you came for, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're halfway, come on. You got it. Yeah. Go, go, go. Nice work. 15 seconds. Can you do this? Yes. Yes. Go, go, go. Give me two more. Oh, we did it. High five, high five, yes. So keep moving. You made it. Good work, grab a drink. So let that breath come back to you. Never stop moving after that's done. Keep moving back and forth, let that heart rate come back. Woo. So, next up, we're moving to the floor. Anybody thankful? Oh, just me. Just the instructor. We're starting with our abs section. Woo. All right, so our first ab move. Coming all the way back. We're gonna do a scissor clap. If you're modifying this, keep it nice and low. And just lose the arms overhead. So with all of our moves that we're doing, quality over quantity, we have just worked our abs for 45 minutes. So they should be tired. So keep this nice and strong. Next up, we practiced our high-low plank before. This one's without the jack. So option one, you're just gonna hold in that high plank. Option two, walking down, walking up. So I'm gonna widen my legs out just a little bit for support. Squeeze that booty nice and tight. Come down and up. Oh yeah. So next up, I have an A frame. So we're drawing an A from the top to the bottom, really focusing on that oblique contraction as you come to the side. So draw that egg, egg, A, and twist as you come to the foot of the A. If you ever need a break, take one, rest it out, and then come back in. All right, we got one more plank. So we're coming low this time. Booty nice and tight. Option one, holding this plank. Option two, tapping two times out and in. Now, if you're tapping and you find your booty popping, lower it and hold. The extra is only if your form is perfect. Yeah. 
Yeah, take a little break. Nice. That's our ab section. Anybody else sweating? Ah! Yeah, so I am a broken record with this, but I say it over and over. Quality over quantity. If your abs get tired and you feel your shoulders or your back working, take a break. We're coming back for that scissor clap. Reach back, come up with that crunch. Feel that rib to hip contraction as you come up. Make that contraction smaller if you need to. Or bring it up bigger with those legs. Whatever you need, keep it in good form. Yes. Oh, we ready for some more plank. Do we still love plank or what? Option one, hold. Yeah, booty tight. Walk it down and up if you want to. I like to widen my legs out a little bit. Keep a better base. Again, break whenever you need to. Drop to those knees, hit a child's pose. Whenever you need a little rest. Coming for that A-frame. So thinking about a nice C-sit tight position. Up and over. Now if you want to get real crazy, you can lift those legs. But I can't do it with good form, so I'm not doing it. But you know who you are if you know how to do that. Good, nice oblique contraction. Hello, plank. So always get set up in this plank position. Booty squeeze. If you feel ready, tap out twice. Otherwise, hold. Nice. So I'm keeping my eye on my plank, and I'm adjusting or breaking as I need to. Because it's tough. You feeling it, ladies? Yeah. Oh, two down. We got one left to go. One more. The good news is, I'm not gonna make you do a plank for our power move. Yes. All right, come back down, scissor clap, last round. Third round's your best round. <laughs> Doesn't mean the most reps. It means the best reps. Yes. Tighten that core. Rib to hip as you come up. Be mindful of the other things that want to work right now. Your lower back wants to work. It tends to be a stronger muscle, so it'll take over if you let it. Yeah. All right. High, low plank, this is it. Last round here. Booty tight. Nice form. Hold strong in that plank. If you're in that plank position, keep that spine in alignment. Watch for your neck to drop. If your neck's dropping, even it out. Gaze straight at the floor. Yes, you got this. Woo, A-frame. Up and over. Slow and controlled. Feel those obliques work. Yes. Nice work. Yeah. Looking so good. Last of our regular moves. Low plank. Woohoo! Low plank, tack it out. You got this booty tight. Break when you need to. Yes. Ugh. All right, our power move. We're coming up to standing. So let's get those obliques. Nice wide stance. We're coming up with our hip to our rib. So this is Less about the knee, more about the contraction. So feel that hip lift towards that core. 
If you're doing this with your knee, we're missing it. Nice, tight contraction. Oh, let's get a fresh side. Woo! Life is good, rib to hip. Get those obliques, can you feel them? Take this at your own pace. Whatever you need to feel that work. Big reach over, big contraction. Yes. Yeah, we did it. Great work. Other good news is we're not done yet. We got three more minutes left. So take a breather. We'll come back for one more high intensity round. All right, so we have one more round. You already did 45 minutes. This is only three minutes. So start moving, let's get that heart rate up. This is designed for high intensity interval. Three moves, one minute each. We're starting with our burpee switch kicks. We're gonna move into our regular push-ups and finish with our zigzag drop. No breaks, high intensity interval, you got this. Leave it all here. Yeah, get in that mindset, what you got, we're almost there, yeah, 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 take those knees a little higher, there it is, burpee switch kick, take it to your level, whatever you want to do for one minute, but we're pushing it, we got a fresh start, taking that heart rate down, now we're gonna crank it up. Remember our modifications are always here. Yeah. Do what you gotta do, but get that work. We're halfway, that's 30 seconds. Yeah, what you got, keep it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Come on, how's it feeling? Keep that core tight. You got this. Almost there. All right, here's our push-ups. So, take your level. Knees, toes, or one leg. But here's some cues. Keep that gaze at the floor. Drop your nose all the way down. So don't let the head drop. That's what I see most often. Take the level that you can keep the best form. Woo! We're halfway, that's 30 seconds. How you doing, ladies? Yeah, take breaks when you need to. I just got a little break in. Down and up, you got this. Come on, come on. 15 seconds. Keeping that good form. What's up? What are you telling yourself? You got this. All right, this is our last minute. Pop it up. Zigzag drop. All you got here. Here's what I want to see. Catch your breath the first 30 seconds. And then the last 30 seconds, we're going to go. Yes. So get your form. Find what works for you. 30 seconds. There it is, let's go. All you got left. Can you crank it up one or not? Just breathe. You can do anything for 15 seconds. Come on. Get low. Yes. Yes, come on, push it, don't stop. Yes, 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 go. Ah, oh, yeah. So everybody keep moving. Don't stop after that. Woo, awesome job. 
Now we are for real done this time. So we're going to catch our breath. Keep moving back and forth. And then we're going to stretch it out. You did it. Be proud of that work that you did. So awesome. Woo, so when you feel good, bring those feet to stillness. Big deep breath. And out. And in. And out. One more. Yes. Nice job. Come side to side. Let's get those inner thighs stretched out. Pulsing side to side. Still taking those big deep breaths. Letting that heart rate recover. Oh, feeling so proud about the work that you did. You made it all the way through. Hold it to this side. Big stretch. Let that inner thigh stretch out. Got lots of squats going on today. Come over to the right. We're going to pivot into a runner's lunge. So drop those hips low. We're going to take our left hand, bring it down by that foot, and you're going to open up wide towards the back. So continuing those big deep breaths, we're going to switch. That right arm comes down, left comes to the back. Feeling that big, beautiful stretch. Nice, bring it down. This time we're going to fold that foot under in our pigeon stretch. Get a nice tall posture here. Just move back and forth very gently, letting that hip stretch out. Yeah, push that foot back. We're going to walk it out in a downward dog. Drop those heels to the floor. Good. Start to very gently walk those hands back, feeling it pull through those hamstrings as you stretch. As your hands meet your feet, we're going to hang here in a rag doll. Let everything release. Good. Drop those hands to the floor, round up very slow, massaging through the back. Let's get that other side. So now that the pain has worn off, now we're feeling the endorphins kick in. Drop those hips to the floor. Right arm comes down to the floor. Left comes to the back. And switch. Left down, right up. Good, bring it down. Left side, fold that foot. Get that pigeon stretch. So thinking about something that you're proud of today, whether that is getting here to this workout, maybe a section that you really pushed on or surprised yourself, making sure that you're really affirming all the effort today. Push that foot back one more time in downward dog. Really push those hips to the sky. We're gonna walk back very slow, focusing on those hamstrings. And round it up slow. Good. So come center. Knees are a slight bend. I think we better stretch that core. That's been working today. So up and over. Big reach. Still thinking about those deep breaths. Good, bring those hands together. A tiny, tiny bend to the back. Stretch to the front. Drop those hands, we're gonna lace them behind. Nice big pull, very tiny shoulder roll, neck roll. Good, drop those hands. Open up wide, we need to stretch for those push-ups. Those look good. We did a lot of them today. Around through the back. Good, drop it down. <clears throat> we need a little tricep stretch. Woo, I'm feeling those dips. Other one. Nice, we're gonna do a couple more stretches. 
I always go way past the music. So let's get that quad stretched out. Thinking about dropping those hips to a level position. Sometimes it's easy as we're trying to get balance to keep those hips up. Making sure that you're getting them nice and even to feel that good stretch. Switch it over. So we move through a pretty quick stretch with this. So as you go throughout the day, make sure you're taking lots of time to stretch. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Awesome job. Great job to the ladies. Thanks for being here.